You can win $32,000 on the turn of a card on Card Sharks. And if you play your cards right, you can win this beautiful Jeep Wrangler. And now the host of Card Sharks, Phil Rafferty. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robert, sir. Bob Hilton on the microphone. Hello, everybody at home. Welcome. If you joined us, uh, you saw the show yesterday, you know that we had a very exciting show. We gave away a couple of cars and a lot of money, and I hope we can do it again today. Let's get started right now. Let us meet our two lovely dealers. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen, Susanna Williams and Lacey Pemberton. A couple of rhinestone cowgirls. Here they are. Uh, sequence, right? Sequence. Sequence. Yeah, yeah. And yes, velvet. in velvet the uh, yes yeah. sequence and velvet in the national LA colors, charcoal gray and pink, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, are we, we ready are to do patriotic. it? Yes, yeah, indeed. Very... Let's start from the top. Let's deal out the cards and let's meet our card sharks. Come on out, folks. <laughs> Hello, Russell. Hi, Bill. Russell, have you had time to uh, let it all sink in? Oh, it's still just kind of crazy. I, I know. can't believe it. I'm I know. Thrilled. I'm... I can imagine what it is like, only. I've never <laughs> done it myself. But you won a car yesterday. That's right. And uh, before I give the grand total of the damage that you did to Mr. Goodson's pocketbook, why don't you introduce yourself to the folks at home? Sure, please. great. My name is Russell Curtis. I'm married. I live in Mill Valley, California, mm -hmm. where I manage a seafood restaurant and work as a waiter. And work as, the wa as a waiter in the restaurant? Oh, yeah, that's where yeah. it's at. Yeah, that's it. You gotta, yeah, everything's got to go in the pocket. you gotta cut you got to cut down those expenses. Anyway, Russell is the new champ. He won the championship yesterday, and he won over $14,855 cash and prizes. Yay! Brand new Jeep. Boy, what a great deal. Color TV. Boy, you really caught it. Hello, Dawn. Hi. Um, Introduce yourself. I'm Dawn Miller. I live in the high desert in Apple Valley, California. I'm married. I have four children, and I work full-time for the post office, and part-time I teach aerobics. Really? And you got four kids at home? Right. Well, what a busy day you put And it's in. my turn to win the car now. I don't blame you. Absolutely. Sure. We should give one away to everybody. I'd like that. And the producer's going, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Good luck to both of you. I know that you've cut the cards backstage. Don't forget, we've always got prize cards in the deck. And today is no exception. Again, we have a trip to Mexico City. Right. So let's get started right now. She, uh, Lacey's already dealt out the cards. First question is our audience poll question. Please welcome 10 married women who are with us this week. They'll be with us all week. We're learning a lot about them, in particular, Mala, who has a pension to fix things and change things and call strange numbers. Anyway, let's get started right now. This question is for Russell. Russell, before the show, we asked these 10 married women, do you have a secret signal that says to your husband across a crowded room, I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> now, how, how many of these 10 women do have a secret signal? <laughs> Probably a little more subtle than that, but I think, I think a lot of couples have a little signal for a lot of different things. But let's see, I think that six of these women have a secret little signal they give their husband. A secret little signal. What do you think, uh, Russell says six. Dawn, what do you think? Well, I think we all have a signal that's, uh, that we give our husbands at whatever time, if it's in the room, outside, whenever. But I'm going to say it's going to be a little higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. <laughs> Is there no self-control in this society? Russell says six. Dawn says higher. The actual number of these women who have a secret signal to tell their husband, I'm in the mood for love, is three. It is not higher, it is lower. Three. So Russell pulls it out of the fire right there. <laughs> who are the three ladies that have this secret signal? There, oh, we've got uh, Lisa, is it? Roberta and Carol, what, what, is, uh, what is your secret signal? <laughs> well, it started because some friends, um, we told them when we were first married that we were going home to make cookies. And they didn't believe us. And so now, anytime anyone mentions cookies, well, we, need, we know what that really means. Get in the mood. Cookies? <laughs> well, nothing like says loving like something from the oven. That's the only way I can look at it. Let's go on. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, Russell, take a look at this. You got a queen. Great card. Let's go lower. Lower than a queen? It is an eight. 
Oh. Let's freeze. Let's just freeze on the eight. I always love the look on their faces when those eights show up. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. We'll be back. Russell's got to figure out what he wants to do. We'll be right back. Let's take a chance. Hello, welcome back. Hey, uh, we're uh, we were commiserating with Carol, one of our married women, about her uh, cookie fetish, as they say. Anyway, we're in the middle of game number one right now. Not a lot of damage done on the board. Russell's out to a bit of a lead. And the next question is for Dawn. Dawn, here okay. we go. Educated guess. These are the fun ones. I like these. How many birds migrate? Let me see. Listen, let me, let me read this again, because if I read this again, then it'll make sense. <laughs> many birds migrate, but the Arctic tern holds the record for flying farther than any other bird. I feel like it's National Geographic, you know? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The Arctic tern. How many miles does it travel each time it migrates? Okay, I don't really remember studying this or anything <laughs> specific, but I will say 11,000 miles. 11,000? 11, right. What do you think, Russell, higher or lower? Oh boy, that's a, a pretty good guess. I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be just a skosh lower. A skosh lower? We're talking about birds or genes here. <laughs> skosh lower than 11,000 miles. The distance the Arctic turn travels each time it migrates is 11,000 miles. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, listen, I'm not going to argue with you. They say it's right on the button. That means you win $500. One, two, three, four, five. Well, for you. That was wonderful. That was great. I'm sure in the production meeting they were saying, this Arctic turn question, this will really screw them. They'll never get this. And now they're out 500 Anyway, here we go, Dawn. Take a look at this card. You got a five. Let's change that card. Yes, ma'am. Now becomes a five. Oh, a five. Okay, higher. Higher than a five, there's an eight. Let's go higher. Let's go higher. higher. Let's you go, go either way here. Higher than an eight, there's a four. Uh. Not a great start. We go back over here. Russell gets a free shot off the eight. I think it's going to be higher. Higher than an eight again. Here we go with an ace. It's lower. Lower. It is a king. It's lower yet. Is it game number one? It is. Yes. Uh. All right. That's how you use a free shot. You just push right through, and the cards fall right into place for you, Russell. Congratulations. You got, a, you got one game in your corner right now, and, of course, you win the next one. You repeat as the champ, Terrific. and who knows what damage you'll do then. Dawn, you got to win this next That's game. That's right. Okay. Uh, Lacey, yeah, she's setting up the cards for game number two right now, so let's get started. Here it is. Uh, this goes to Russell. Okay. We surveyed uh, 100 third-grade girls, and we asked them, would you like it if your parents were movie stars? How many third-grade girls said they would like it? I think anybody would like their parents to be a movie star. I know I would. Uh, I think <laughs> that it's going to be a very high number. I think 80. 80. What do you think, Dawn? Well, believe it or not, just coming on the show, my kids think I'm a movie star. They Absolutely. really do. They think it's great. Um, but there are kids, I think, that are going to, it's going to be a little bit lower, I think. A little bit lower. Right. The actual number of third grade girls who would like it if their parents were movie stars is... 82. It is not lower, it is higher. All right. By two. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, Russell, take a look at this. You got a nine. Let's change that nine, please. You got a nine that now becomes an eight. Uh, G. <laughs> higher than the eight. Higher again, there is an eight. So, uh, Dawn breathes a sigh of relief, yes. gets to look at this card, must play from it. It is a three. Higher, higher. Higher than a three. It's an eight. How many eights? Let's go Higher again, they're calling. It is Mexico City. Boy, isn't that great? Terrific. So, Mexico City goes up on Dawn's side of the board. Uh, we have an eight we're calling. Higher. She says higher again. Interesting. Everybody's called higher on these eights. Will it pay off? It did. Freeze. Freeze. You want to stay right there? Freeze. She says stop right where you are. And I'm asking you just to wait one more minute. We'll be back with the conclusion of this game. Oh, that's great. 500. Welcome back. Right in the middle of our second game right now. And let's get started with our audience poll group. And here are our 10 married women. They're waiting to be, have their question asked. All right, Dawn, this is for you. Okay. Before the show, we asked these 10 married women, is there one subject that you and your husband just can't talk about without fighting? 
How many of these 10 women said there is one subject they can't talk about without fighting? With us, there's usually more than one subject, but I would say that that's going to be a really high number, probably seven. Seven. Russell? Oh. My wife and I have one subject we can talk about without fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven, huh? The question is one that... How I'm many sorry. of these 10 women said there is one subject they can't talk about without fighting? And Dawn has said seven. I think it's going to be a little lower. A little bit lower. Just a little lower, a yeah. A little bit lower. The actual number of these women who said there is one subject they can't talk about without fighting is six. It is a little lower. Yes. By one. Whoa. Okay. Who are the six ladies? Let me see a show of hands. <laughs> Carol. I hope it's not cookies, Carol. I'm going to get very... <laughs> Tell us, what, what, is the, what is the subject? Well, we can't discuss the phone bill. <laughs> because every time we do, um, we get into an argument. But why, no. why, why would you get into an argument? I'm, I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, he thinks I like to talk a little bit too much. But sometimes I try to hide the bill down <laughs> the bottom of the bill box. But... What, was the, what was the biggest, what did you sting him for? What was the most money on one bill you ever stung? I think... $150. $150? You better start baking, Carol. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Russell, here's an eight, sir. Change the eight, please. Eight. Eight now becomes a four. Great. I like the four. Higher, please. Higher than a four? That is exercise equipment. I'm sure we'll give you an explanation, if you want it, of what exactly it entails, but it's exercise equipment. Okay, we've got a four and... Higher. Higher. There's an ace. Lower. Uh-oh. Lower is a six. <laughs> Freeze. 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 Boy, Russell, Russell don't like taking any chances. He says, I'm stopping right there on a six. A lot of people play that card. But let's see how the strategy pays off, because he gets the next question. Okay. We surveyed 100 women who are top business executives, and we asked them, have you ever cried in front of your boss? How many women executives admitted they have cried in front of their boss? Hmm. My wife is a business executive, and I don't like to think she ever cried in front of her boss, but I'm sure situations come up where they do. I think it's going to be a low number. I don't think that in the business situation, people tend to break down and cry that much. It's going to be a low number. It's going to be 20, 20, 20 even. 20. Okay. Uh, Dawn, what do you think? Well, I think as an executive, women have to learn how to control their emotions. And I know there's a lot of pressure and there are times you feel like crying, but I think you usually do it once you go home. I think it's going to be even lower. You're going lower. All right. <laughs> Crowd agrees. The actual number of women executives who have cried in front of their boss is 34. It is in lower. It is higher. Whoa. Okay. That is interesting. Anyway, Russell, your strategy paid off in an off-handed way. <laughs> You're back here with the six. Change it, please. He wants to change it. A lot of people that play that car. This is interesting. Six now becomes a four. Better. Higher. Higher than a four. It is $500. All right. A little sweetening goes in the pot right now. Susanna's putting it up on Russell's side of the board. Exercise equipment at $500. Okay, now we've got four. Higher still. Higher. It is a six. This time we're going higher. He's going for it. He goes for it. This is for the game, the match, exercise equipment, $500. Is it higher than a six? It is oh. not. So that means that Dawn's heart will start to move. Really? And she has to get a free shot right now from the nine. Lower. Lower, Lower. than a nine. It is a three. Lower. Will she tie it up? She will. This is interesting. We'll be back with the tiebreaker right after this. Oh, my God! You did it. I see myself going to the land of departing gifts. Yeah, land of departing gifts. No such thing. We're pushing the board in for the tiebreaker right at this very moment. Lacey and Susanna are setting it up. This is a three-card game with a maximum of three questions. And uh, this is for the marbles. And if we just get a quick shot of that board right now that Susan's standing next to, exercise equipment and $500 for Russell, a trip to Mexico City for Dawn, a lot at stake in the tiebreaker. Here we go. This question goes to Dawn. We surveyed 100 mothers of newborn babies, and we asked them, did you get the blues after you had your baby? Well, if it was a boy, I imagine you did, but I'm not sure. <laughs> How many new mothers said they did get the blues? 
I know this is really common, and I have four children. I was pregnant three times because I had twins, so that oh, explains well, that. Well, I'm glad but we every, got that one worked yeah. out. <laughs> because but my mind just went, whoa. What whoa. happened? Maybe there's one still in there. I have no... <laughs> <laughs> but every time I got the blues for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but I know that it's really common. That's going to be a really high number, 63. 63? Russell, what do you think? Ooh, my wife and I don't have any children yet, and uh, we <laughs> noticed the smile when Russell said that. Like, <laughs> no, that's not it. But uh, a lot of our friends have kids, and I, I've read about it, and I know that people go through that after they have a, a baby, but I think it's going to be... Just a little higher. A little bit Just higher. Just from what I've heard, I think it's going to be higher. What is it? Postpartum dis depression? Postpartum, Postpartum depression. depression, that's what it's called. Anyway, Russell says higher, Dawn says 63. The actual number of new mothers who got the blues after their baby was born is 65. It is a little higher. Whoa. Just by two. Russell knows his numbers, I'll tell you that right now. Here we go, Russell. Take a look at this. Tell me what you want to do with a three. I want to keep the three and go higher. Higher than a three. Here is a jack. Lower than the jack. This is it. Exercise equipment, $500, and another trip to the money cards. No. Oh. Who knew? Oh. There were two cards there to do it, and you found one of them. Anyway, Dawn gets a free shot. Okay. And let's, let's see what it. you've got here, a 10. Lower. Let's go lower. lower. than a 10. It is a 4. Is she the new champ? Is she going to Mexico? Yes. That's great. Congratulations. Yes, you did it. Very good. I've been on vacation in 13 years. <laughs> Where are you going? Anyway, Russell, we have to say goodbye to you, sir, but uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. And we uh, hope you'll enjoy $14,855 I think I will. Price. Thank Bill. you, Russell. Come on, Dawn. Come on, Dawn. Come over here. Oh, what a nice job. Listen to Bob Hilton and tell you all about your vacation. We're going to fly you and a guest to Crown Plaza, Mexico City, located in the heart of Mexico's art and history. Four restaurants serving continental cuisine and traditional Mexican specialties from Holiday Inn, Crown Plaza, Mexico City. Congratulations. Thank you, Bob. All right, here's the easy part. This is a piece of cake. Susanna and Lacey are dealing out the money cards, and, of course, uh, uh, Dawn knows how to play those cards, but in addition to all the money she could win, we've added that joker to the deck Anytime it turns up. Bingo. She gets a shot at that brand new car back there. And because she's the champ, we give her a joker. So I'll she gets it. at least one chance at it. Let's get started right now. Let's give her $200. You got it? Make some money. Here we go. Got $200 and uh, an eight. Let's change it. Let's yes, you change can. it. Um, number two. All right. That eight now becomes a seven. Oh, Not a lot of okay. help. Think about it. $200. Um, $50 higher. $50 higher than a seven. There's a king. All right. $250 on a king. Um, two Two hundred dollars lower than a king. There's a ten. Right. Four fifty on a ten. On um, three hundred lower. Three hundred dollars right, lower. Let's go for it. A lot of money on this. Three hundred dollars uh, lower than a ten. It is a jack. Oh. That's the bad news. The good news, I'll take you up here right now and give you four hundred dollars more. You now have five hundred and fifty dollars and a jack. Um, four hundred lower. Four hundred lower than a jack. It is a queen. Oh. All right, let's yeah. keep going. Let's try and make some money here. You got $150 and a good card. You got a queen. $150 lower. 150 She's going for all of it That's right, right here. That's right. $150 lower than a queen. It is a jack. <laughs> you got $300 now and a jack. Um, all of it lower. You're going to go for yeah, it. All of it lower than it. a jack. It could wipe out right here. It did. Ah. Oh. Went all the way down. Well, that would have been a great card to yeah, take I up know. to there, too. Oh, well. But uh, that's the luck of the cards. We have no control over it. But you do have $2,190 so far in your, with your vacation. Here is uh, Lacey with your Joker. All right. That entitles you with a chance to win that new car back there that Bob Hilton's going to tell you all about. It's the Wrangler. It continues the tradition and made the Jeep a legend. With room for four, the Wrangler offers personal control, comfort, and the flexibility to enjoy both on and off road driving from Jeep Corporation. Good luck. Uh, it, it feels kind of, I mean, all, of, all the air got let out of the room, but that's a, you know, she did so badly on the cards. But you know what? There's a little rule around here sometimes. It, sometimes you do rotten on the cards, you do real terrific with the car. Let's see what happens. Seven numbered cards in front of you. One of them says the word car. Find it. Go do it. Number seven. I can't tell you how many times I've seen number seven get picked. 
My husband's birthday is on the seventh. That would be a really nice present. Would for it him. be nice? Yes. Well, let's see. Let's uh, let's hope that your husband's birthday is lucky enough to put you in the driver's seat of a brand new Jeep. Is the word car behind number seven? No. Uh, where was it? Ooh, you should have been born two days earlier. Five. This is where it was. Number five. Anyway, okay. you're the champ. You can repeat and come back here again and, and knock off a whole bunch of money in that brand new car. Okay. We'll be back right after this message. Oh. We are out of time. Uh, Lacey Pemberton, Susanna Williams, I'm Bill Rafferty. Dawn's going to be here tomorrow. Bob Hilton's going to say goodbye to you right now. Bye-bye. Every family has one. The smart Alec. I know the answer. Okay. The dummy. Um, um. The beauty. We got it. The brain. I'm going to go with uh, Saturn. But only GSN has the new Family Feud. We're ready to play the feud. It's a whole new Richard. It's the testosterone against the... Uh, never mind. For a whole hour of family fun. An Hour of Family Feud with Richard Carn premieres Tuesday, March 6th at 11, 10 Central, only on GSN. Because my mind just went, whoa. What happened? <laughs> Maybe there's one still in there. I have no... <laughs> <laughs> but every time I got...